Let's get started. First, you're going to want to pull your hair up and out of the way and start off with a fresh, clean face. Next, take your foundation and apply this all over your face. I'm using NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. Next, take your concealer and apply this on any dark circles or blemishes. Make sure you don't leave the house without blending this in, otherwise people might react like this. Just kidding, but seriously, make sure you blend this into your face. Next, take your powder to set your foundation. Next, I'm taking one of MAC's paint pots in the shade Painterly and applying this all over my eyelid. Next, I'm taking Benefit's Dandelion Blush and applying this on the apples of my cheeks. Next, take some bronzer and apply that to the hollows of your cheeks to add some definition. Next, take a lip balm and apply that to your lips. Now it's time to work on our eyebrows. You're going to want to start by brushing out your eyebrows. Next, find a color close to your eyebrows and start filling them in. Now we want to lighten them a bit, so brush through them one more time. Taking the Naked Palette 3, mix together both Limit and Nooner and apply this in a windshield wiper motion just above your eye crease. This will give the appearance of a more animated look. Next, take the same colors and apply this halfway across your lower lash line. Take the color Strange and apply this to your inner eye. Next, take the color Burnout and apply this to the center of your lids. Taking a white eyeliner pencil, apply this to your lower waterline. Next, take a liquid black liner and create a small, thin cat eye. After that, take a black eyeliner pencil and apply this to your upper waterline. Using Stila's eyeshadow called Kitten, apply this to your inner eyes, your cupid's bow, and on your brow bow. Now it's time for mascara. Apply mascara to your top and bottom lashes. Next, take your hair down and fix it the way you want. Grab your wand, and you're done. You are now Hermione Granger. If you want to add a bit of color to your lips, I recommend using a color close to your Gryffindor tie. Now you're ready to be the smartest witch that ever graduated from Hogwarts. For your costume, make sure your dress shirt is buttoned up all the way and your cuffs are rolled up a bit. Grab your Gryffindor tie and your time turn a necklace. You can't see it, but I'm also wearing a black skirt and some tights with this look. Also, wear a gray cardigan to get the full Hogwarts student look. Last but not least, make sure you have your wand. With these two Hermione Granger looks, you're going to have the best and smartest looking costume this Halloween. Have fun being absolutely awesome this Halloween. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next time.